Now to an alarming new study about a potential health complication for anyone who has ever had COVID. Lori Perez is getting answers on the results from the latest research. That at the beginning of all this, we thought this was just a respiratory infection, obviously very dangerous, very contagious, but only affect the lungs. And sort of every three to six months, we find that unfortunately it affects other parts uh, of the body as well. Cardiologist Dr. Alan Kwan was the study's lead author, looking at the medical records of more than 23,000 adults who'd had COVID at least once. It found the combined risk of type 2 diabetes after COVID for both vaccinated and unvaccinated patients was 2.1 percent. Why? He says they don't know for certain yet, but they're focusing on the severe inflammation COVID causes. We do know that uh, essentially inflammation can make it harder for your body to process sugars, so there's a possible connection there. The study found vaccination seemed to reduce the risk. People who'd gotten the shot had almost no increased risk, while the unvaccinated had higher odds of a new diabetes diagnosis, underscoring doctors' pleas for people to get vaxxed and boosted. It would be the best case scenario if you don't catch COVID. The link is alarming for a country where he says one in 10 people develop diabetes, and especially in the communities like those Dr. Jerry Abraham serves in South LA. A primarily, you know, black and Latino communities where we have much higher rates of obesity and heart disease and diabetes. So news like this does not help for sure because we're already at such high risk. As California and the nation prepare to officially end the COVID states of emergency, he's in Washington, pleading for Congress to continue funding for vax clinics, testing and treatment, especially as studies like these reveal more about the long-term impact of COVID-19.